Good morning. Today we are going to do a workout. Um, we're going to do for our cardio piece, there is going to be every five minutes, there's going to be some circuit or bursts of energy. I will give you some options, but we do the best we can. Let's sit up nice and tall, or you can stand. Again, whatever is most appropriate for you. Big deep breath in and exhale down. One more big deep breath in and exhale down. Let's tap those toes, arms can swing. If you have arms on your chairs and your arms cannot swing through, press them straight forward. But I do want you pulling your elbow behind your back, trying to warm up our chest as we move through this warm up. Keep the toes out in front, reach our arms up towards the ceiling. Thinking about lengthening through our spine. Same arm, same leg is gonna go out to the side, open. Once again, if I stand here, I'm pulling my elbow back. Trying to open our chest, tapping the toe as wide as we can. Toes stay here, arms press across. My basic warm up here, trying to get our joints to move in every location and every way. As we warm up, you can add a little bit of a torso rotation. Head can stay still, or you can follow your hand as we press it across. Let's bring our heels in front, arms straight forward. Staying here, we're going to do two things. We're going to cross in front, cross above our head. Try to get these crosses at the elbow, bringing big motion and movements to our shoulders. Tapping our toes behind, arms in front. So standing, I try to bring my knee straight, bringing the movement from my hip. In my chair, I don't have that ability, so I'm just tapping my toes behind. Changing this just slightly, same arm, same leg. I reach up, long, solid stroke all the way up as I bring my toe behind. Warming up our low backs when we're standing, so getting our hip flexor. Bring this to a march. I'm gonna be watching my, my watch a little bit. I have a timer going, so when we know when to do those bursts. Right leg's gonna lead. Right leg leads, mambo step. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see my feet. Mambo step forward and back. It's a tick-tock step where my left leg continues just to march in place. Same thing in my chair. Two more forward, last one, mambo right, step, in. Great for our brain, try to keep your left arm moving, right arm follows your leg. Last one, side step to that right, bringing these arms up and over, opening and closing our legs, Doing the best we can, whether it be in our chair or standing, that they open wide and come all the way together. Feet stay the same, arms change into those figure eights. If your area allows, I want this behind your back, sweeping. Later on, we're gonna do movements with our shoulders and we want to warm up as much as we can. Back to a march. Right leg still leads. With this right leg, I'm going to bring it forward into a V step. Make it as big as you can. Let's go. Forward, back. In the chair, you have the option to a flat foot or extending fully out into a heel. 
Obviously, if you're standing, don't try to land on your heels. You're going to end up on your rear behind you. But the reason in our chair is because this is a bigger movement. We take up more space. Two. Last one, reverse this. Standing, you know what it looks like in our chair. We go wide, together, forward. So again, I'm using as much space as I can. And my timer is there. 30 seconds, quick feet. Get on the balls of those feet on our toes. We're moving, standing, our hands are up. We're moving. We have 30 seconds. We can pop our arms. We can keep them down. I do want space, especially if we're in our chair. They're coming. Our goal is our heart rate is up. I would love to tell you a secret, but I don't want to. My stopwatch should not start. So we have five, four, three, two, one. Rest, but we're not done with our burst. Full chair stands, squats, or power ups for when we have 30 seconds of them. Up and all the way down, or we power up and down, or we stay standing and we squat. 30 seconds. This just get us warm, get us moving. And this will make it easier to watch. Last five seconds. Rest it. I gotta start right where we were. Right leg leads. We're gonna go from the top. We have that that mambo, mambo set forward and back. It's gonna be a lot of cardio today. And when we get through our cardio piece, we're gonna be doing some posture and balance work. Take this mambo to the right. Wide, narrow. Two, last one, side start, side step, arms up and over. Feet stay the same, arms change, figure eight. If you feel comfortable, so in your chair, if you don't have, you have arms, you have, your figure eights are down in front, otherwise make them big. Get your vestibular system into it, watch those hands. So I'm moving my head. If you have any balance issues, don't stand them on your hands. I don't want you on the floor. Back to a march. Knees nice and high. I'm gonna turn, just so you can see I'm doing that B step, right leg bleeding, so I go forward. Notice my movement, forward, forward, back, back. Two, last one, reverse it, so I step back and wide. I knew where my chair was, so I'm not tripping over it. You be aware of where your furniture is. Last one, in place march. We are gonna do three steps, high knee, when we do a high knee, we're trying to touch underneath. Right leg begins, we have one, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. Lift that leg up to your chest instead of reaching down. You can add a little twist to this. One more each side. Back down low. Double side step. Right, right. In the chair, you're going to be limited a little bit. Reach the arms up. Standing. Again, depending on the space you have, it might be small. It can be large. You can add a little 
lift to that middle part, or even a shuffle. Last one, stay in place, march, slow it down, make these movements big, hands can be in front, add in a little bit more rotation, hands at heart center, hands behind your ears. Same concept here, less of a twist, a little bit deeper of a twist, and even more. Change this, keep it slow, lift and reach, lift and reach. So I lift with my knee, kick with my toe. So it's not a straight leg, it's a lift and reach. Still keeping it slow, we change and curl. In your chair, heels come back. I'm just buying some time. I have about 15 seconds. I went a little quick this time. Back to a march. Wind it out. Bring it in. Rest it. 30 seconds. I have my timer. Quick feet. Let's begin. Hands up. Your arms can pop. Your body should be warm. Your body should be warm. They can stay wide. You can move these feet. It makes no difference if it's in and out. We just keep on moving. Same thing standing. My heels are lifted. I know I'm almost out of it. Slightly hinge forward on the balls of the feet. Work on agility. You can make patterns in and out. Rest it. Your choice, squats, power-ups, or chair stands. My timer started, I just need to get rid of a box. Five seconds. Rest, rest from the top. Now left leg gets to be. If you need to slow down, take longer breaks, you do it. We're gonna keep moving. Left leg, mambo. Let's change our hands. Shake our maracas high, shake them low. Shake them high, shake them low. One last one to the left. Shake high, shake low. Notice my feet are coming up off the floor, both of them. I'm not just staying low. I'm lifting my knees, warming up, keeping that heart rate up, two more. Last one, side step. This time let's sweep underneath. If you're in that chair, it might be more in front because the arms of the chair. If you feel comfortable, first add the arm, pressing across. Then if you feel more comfortable, you can add the toe reaching behind. In the chair, same concept. You can just reach that toe back a little bit farther. In your chair, try to get movement, lateral movement with our torso. So I'm really reaching. We lose some hip mobility in our chair. So standing, there's less movement from our torso, more from our hips. Changing it, staying in a side step, we come back together, arms press straight forward. Now, if you're standing, this can be a balance check here. Try to cross that midline. 
So we cross behind. Crossing in front can be even harder. Now, if you want a brain game here, you go up and out or up and out. So then your brain and your feet are working in different ways. Bring it back to a march. We're getting to that B step. Left leg leads, make it big, extend out, know your space around you because we will reverse this. Let's go, left leg. When I do my B steps, I like my hands to go up facing forward and the hands come down to my hip pockets. It fully extends because these arms, anything above your heart, keeps your heart rate up. Two, last one, know your space, reverse it. My first one has to be a little bit smaller. Here, I'm bringing external rotation into my shoulder. You just bring it straight out, but we wanna rotate open. In your chair, I'm just going wide and then coming forward. Two more. Last one, double step to the left. Step, step. You're gonna find your way into getting them, then you get your arms going. We're circling or rounding. Try to get open and closed, use your space. You're gonna add that little hop in the middle if you're standing and you feel comfortable. One more. Stay in march. Three step, high knee, left leg leads. I'm gonna count. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. If you can't touch, you lift and you stay stable. Lengthen through our torso, lengthen through our core. You can add the rotation. A little twist if you feel comfortable. If you're standing, don't be afraid to move around if you have some room. I feel like if I stand now, I'm going to get off feet, so I'm not going to. Last one. Rest it because my timer is done. So we have 30 seconds of quick feet. If it's too hard, just march. Quick feet here. So if it's too much, stay moving. Pump your arms, walk out, walk in. Otherwise, we're on our feet. Make some patterns if you want, or stay in place. Hands can just stay here if you feel like your heart rate's up. If it's not enough, keep them moving. Three, two, one, rest. Right away, I'm keeping my timer going. 30 seconds, we come all the way up. Sit all the way down, or we can squat if we don't have that chair or we can power up, power up, and just try to get that rear out of that chair. I know I'm dark, I'm dark, and then sit back down. So it's controlled the entire time. It's because we can't get all the way up. We want to be able to practice it. Even if we barely come out of that chair, we practice. Nose over toes, I lean, I power, rest, back to center. We have one more. One more round and we'll get to straight. I told you, it's a little bit, a lot, of, a little bit, a lot of cardio. Left leg lead from the top. We start with that mambo, mambo with me. We're shaking high and low. Last one to the left. Shake, back, lift those legs as we get tired. Side step, arm sweep. Since I don't have arm on my chair, I can sweep a little bit more. For others, it's gonna be straight across. Still trying to open and close my hips as much as possible. 
Change the arms. Press across. If you're able, toe goes behind. Once again, we're changing. Arms straight forward. Pull that toe back out. Stay here if this is where you're comfortable. Otherwise, heel crosses over that midline. You might notice my hips drop a little bit because I'm allowing that leg to press across. To a march. Left leg, V step, know your space. I'm gonna sit down for this one just so that people can see it. Join me in that V step. Same concept, I'm reaching high, palm facing forward, coming back to my hip pocket or down to my thigh. So my arms stay moving. It's easy for all of us to get really small because it's easier. But most of us aren't exercising because we want it easy. We're exercising because we want the benefit. We want our heart rate up so we can get that cardiovascular benefit. We want range of motion for our shoulders. Last one, reverse it. We want to feel better, move better. And doing that, we need a big. Two, last one. Double side step, step, step. When I double side step at the beginning of my chair, I run out of room. Use your space. I have a lot of space. I can take big side steps. I can add that lift. I can add the hop. One more, we're going left and right. Stay in place and march. Left leg leads, three steps, high knee. Let's begin, one, two, three, lift. So again, I have a lot of space. I can move forward and back. I can move side to side. I don't have to stay in place because I have room to allow it. Most of you in your living rooms, there's not as much room as this event center. So therefore, being aware. Low. We're gonna slow it down even more. If your chair or something is there, we're gonna lock and try to touch the inside of our shoe. I'm gonna reach up towards the ceiling if I'm not using both hands, I'm not reaching, I'm reaching down. Notice though, my leg is coming up to my hand. Even in my chair, my leg is coming up to my hand, not the other way. Bring it back down, widen it out, bring it back in, last cardio burst. Then we are done, we have some strength. Let's go. Quick feet or just basic marches. Quick feet or basic marches. I got a new box that came up. I should know better. Someday, I'll be back teaching live in the pack for you instead of doing this. Five seconds. Again, don't be afraid to move in and out. I'm a little bit hinged. Everything that can shake can shake, I promise. Squats, chair stands, or power ups, your choice or your ability. If you're doing those chair stands, don't be afraid to change your feet. We can go tandem, right or left. We can be closed. We can be extremely wide. It works different muscles, you'll feel it different. Rest it, when we're in our chair, rest it. Big deep breath. And exhale down. One last one, big deep breath. 
and exhale. We're gonna stay here to do posture. So you can stand or in your chair. I just have a little bit more room in my frame. We're gonna do what? Like we're gonna do VWs. So I want palms facing each other out into that V. I'm gonna pull down and back into what looks like a W and back up. If I turn, notice my elbows are coming back. My chest is getting pulled and lifted. My chin is tucked back. I like to imagine I grab and I'm pulling down. Release, grab, purposeful movement, pulling down. Feel those shoulders, feel the muscles, squeeze their shoulder blades in. Last one, resting. Moving from our posture to our legs. I'm gonna show it in our chair and then I'll stand. Right leg's gonna come out. It's not straight forward, it's tapped to the side. So I've gotta be at the front of my chair to be able to do this. I'm lifting and dropping. If I stand, imagine I have something, external rotation, inner thigh, I lift and drop. Ooh, balance check too, because I don't have anything. Lift and drop. Controlled up, controlled down. Your foot is going to want to point that toe forward. Do not allow it. Slow up and down. Same concept in that chair. Knee is as straight as you can get it. Two. Keep an eye on that foot. Externally rotated. Rest it. Switch legs. Bring it out in front. Rotate it open. Point your toe, lift. Notice the difference. Maybe one is a lot easier and stays open, while the other one wants to close right up, or it doesn't go as high. It doesn't matter if you get an inch or two off the ground, or if you get much higher. Same thing standing. Maybe it's here, maybe it's much higher. All has to do with their strength and range of motion. But what I want you to focus on is I'm not moving anything but my legs. My core is stable. My posture is up. Last two. And one. Rest it. Again, you can see it. We're going to come into a field goal post. Open it up. We close. Hands and elbows. Squeeze. Open and squeeze. So we have squeeze in the closed phase and the open phase. Close and open. Let those shoulder blades feel that pinch back. And then our shoulders and chest work as we squeeze in. Last one. Open, close as much as you can. Ooh, I'm cheating, my shoulders are coming up. Rotate back open. Close as much as you can, shoulders relax, neck long. Try to come back open. If that's too difficult, you can do one at a time, which is much, much easier to control the raised, shrugged up shoulders. Rest it, rest it. Legs, we are going to turn our legs in our chair. I just want us to slide our leg back and then we can slide it back in. We slide back as far as we can and back in. This is the movement. Standing, we can either slide and recover, or next option up is a lift and a drop. Glutes, a lift and a drop, or hold on to something, slide back, recover. That's what we're doing standing in our chair. We slide back as far as we can. Stay upright, feel your rear work as we press. Last one. Switch sides, same concept again. Slide them back far as you can. So if I can be straight, I can get straight and come back in. I'm using the carpet or the floor as resistance for both if I'm standing and I'm not going back. I'm letting my shoe work against it. Not so much that it's changing my posture in my upper body, 
but in fact that I feel that work. Again, stability and support here as we lift. And yes, putting my hands up like this does help my balance on days that it's not very good. Last one, rest it back to center. If you have your TheraBand available, you can use it. If you do not, it is not required. External rotation, palms facing up, elbows in tight. I externally rotate, back in, then posture. If I don't have it, I'm externally rotating. I'm going to get more range of motion pulling behind with that one. My upper arm is glued to my back. So with or without external rotation. Last one. We have one more move before we stretch. And it's ankle mobility in your chair, up on your toes, back on your heels. If you are in your chair, you can also add a little bit of hip by coming in and out. If you're standing, making sure you have something solid up on our toes, back on our heels. Straight line, up on our toes, back on our heels, lifting our toes up as much as we can. I know we do this in class. We used to do it all the time, but we don't do it as much. So I'm assuming we're coming up on our toes and back on our heels. Keep that rear tuck up underneath. So hold on to something. Make sure it's stable. You don't want to go back and bounce your chair over with you. Up and back. This is something fantastic to do at your kitchen counter, at your bathroom sink. Sinks are great since you can actually hold on to it, then there's the counter being a flat surface. Last one. Rest it. If you're standing, we're starting with their quad. If you're in the chair, we're starting with their quad. Standing can be bringing that heel into your tailbone. In our chair, wrap our outside leg down, want it straight down, tuck our hip, press into our toes, feeling our quad. Lengthen, straighten, hold. If you need a little bit of reminder, lift your hands and lean in our chair. Back up, to which leg? So again, standing, I'm pulling, and my chair, I'm tucking. I try not to talk about what the day is in case I ever need to use this video again, but in the event center, it is so foggy this morning, I can't even see the houses across the way. Let's come back to center. Right leg out, leg straight, hinge, hands on the left, standing, same movement, just requiring some balance. The more we can press those hips back, the better the stretch it is. So generally, I prefer in a chair or all the way on the ground and stretching, and leg can be however you want, because I get a much better stretch on my hamstring than a standing one, but that's just personal preference. Come up and we'll switch. Important, pull that toe back. Try to relax, use your breath. Release tension from your shoulders. Allowing that body to sink in. Come up, right ankle. It can go over the eight left ankle. Knee out and wide as you can. Or into a figure four. I prefer this again in the chair. You can do it standing and then hinge because we want to get our chest and our legs as close together to feel the stretch in the air outside of our right hip. Let's switch. This is another one I have to remind myself. Breathe and relax. I tend to hold a lot of tension and I, without even knowing it, fell on doing that.
back up, rest it, arm across, pull it in, open and close, relax that shoulder down. I'm gonna stay with the same arm and bring it up and over. I can push or pull. The goal is walking the fingertips down the spine, making sure the front of your neck is showing. Release it across, open and close. Reach it up and over. Release it. Hands interlace, thumbs point down, tuck and round. Head can shake no. Again, move a little bit laterally in that torso, but then lengthen up towards the ceiling. Hands can stay together or come apart or grab the wrist, but we lean and hold. Bicep should be by that ear, shoulders should be relaxed. Over the other way. Back up, arms and shoulders roll. With them back and relax, best posture you have. Head tilts, arm comes out. You can inhale and exhale, releasing your shoulders. Let's switch. Drop our chin to our chest, keeping our chin down on our heads and gently roll from right to left. And when you're ready, let's come back up. Two big deep breaths. We inhale and exhale. One last one. Inhale and exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day.